So hi everyone. Uh, I'm Ana Parada. I'm a digital product designer. Uh, and today I'm going to talk about when design doesn't work. So uh, basically for the major of people and maybe for you that are here today, um, design is something merely uh, aesthetic. Uh, so basically uh, most of the people when referring to, to a product th they are using, they basically say that uh, the product is bad or good, but in fact they are saying that p uh, the product is ugly uh, or beautiful. So to start this presentation, I brought the definition uh, of uh, what is design uh, by Steve Jobs. So basically, design is not just what it looks like and feels like, design is how it works. I really like this definition because design is also about function and not only about uh, aesthetics. So design combines a great amount of different disciplines like art, uh, economics, uh, sociology, uh, etc. And um, as designers, we need to know uh, more about people uh, to do our job better. So to pass this to other people, to, to clients, to colleagues, uh, I made my own definition of good de how good, uh, what good design is. So for me, good design is a solution that combines technology, usability, user needs and visual arts to produce something that the world didn't know was missing. But for this presentation, I brought a definition uh, uh, made by Dieter Rams that says that good design is invisible. So basically, uh, when we are here and we notice that, for example, the air conditioner, uh, <laughs> that we have air conditioner here, is because probably the air conditioner is not working. So I think it's a good example to explain that good design, basically we don't not, uh, notice good design happening. So also um, design has impact in people's lives. And because I am more aware of digital devices like mobile, desktop, uh, etc., cetera, um, when I ask the users, uh, most of the time I, I've heard uh, this kind of quotes. I'm not a techie. Uh, I'm bad at technology, I'm not a computer person. And that's normal because computers are still am ambiguous to some users. And actually, people tend to um, interact and acting uh, differently when are using computers. So for example, uh, if in our daily lives we tend to blame others for something bad that happens, in case of, in case of computers, it's a bit different. In case of computers, we tend to blame themselves uh, when we don't know how the things work, how, uh, when we don't know um, how to interact with an UI, for example. Actually, when we see uh, an interface that is beautiful, uh, we feel like we are obligated to know how to interact with, to know how to uh, manage uh, the things to work. So if you can do it, we start to feel unfit um, and we tend to, to see the things uh, as, if, as if they, they are uh, our fault. Uh, another thing is uh, it changes. So basically when a UI changes, um, the user uh, has difficulty to, to, to manage that and to, uh, when they feel uh, difficult to um, to adapt to the new UI, <laughs> uh, like in this case. So basically, this person maybe changed the <laughs> changed their uh, his vehicle uh, for some time, so they didn't manage to to use it well. So basically, people tend to feel excluded uh, and blame themselves when uh, they are not able to figure out uh, the changes uh, on their own. Actually, uh, this is a thing that happens uh, every day uh, in our lives now with, uh, with smartphones. Um, so many of the times we, we use our smartphones to, to see our email, if we have a new one or, or something. Uh, but then we start navigating and go to Instagram, to Twitter, to Facebook feeds, and we get lost. So this is called vortex effect. Uh, and basically, 
the user starts to feel lost and productive and wasting time with that. Uh, actually, dark patterns that are design patterns that uh, uh, most, of the, uh, most of designers uh, use to guide the user uh, into a, a non-intended behavior um, and basically to force some action. For, uh, we had th that example mostly on e-commerce, for example, that uh, we want to convert more, so we tend to use uh, dark patterns to, to make the user interact in, in some manner. Uh, but for today, I, I brought a, um, a real-life example of uh, the impact uh, that design really have in people's lives. So this is a well-known story uh, for UX uh, and UX studies and for UX designers. That basically, uh, it's about Jenny that was a, a child that was sick uh, at the hospital. And basically, uh, because the, the treatments were so aggressive, um, Jenny needed to be hydrated uh, regularly. So uh, one time when the nurses uh, did the chip change, uh, basically they forgot to hydrate Jenny. And that happens because uh, all they need to know <laughs> is uh, that piece of UI uh, uh, for uh, are notifying uh, the nurses. Uh, for hydrating Jenny. So, uh, as you can see, uh, you need to pay uh, not only attention, but you need to know uh, what uh, age and M <laughs> basically uh, means uh, in this case. So, uh, as humans, we pay more attention to negative experience over positive or neutral ones. So, as designers, uh, if we made an error with an interface, uh, basically it means that the product will not work, but actually, but actually can mean that the product will never be used again by the users. So to conclude this presentation, um, I put here some small steps uh, and guides for designers, not, not only designers, but also programmers. I think everyone needs to know a bit of everything to, to do uh, our job better. So um, my advice is to design uh, your system to remain functional, even when some parts of it are broken. So uh, as designers, we tend to, to design only the happy path, and most of the times it will not work. And uh, basically, that's a uh, good advice. Also, uh, we need to try to make everything accessible to everyone. We need to pay attention to that. Most of the times, it's not about the product work for um, the major clients, but also if your product works for everyone, you are uh, really uh, building a great product. Also, you need to know y your users better, better and try to think uh, as if you were uh, on one of them. We need to build empathy to, and to be in the user's shoes. Um, and also uh, try to increase contrast between something that is really important and something that is not. Um, that is, is really useful to, to take into account when uh, designing uh, interfaces. Uh, to my profession, to my fellow designers, uh, the big steps, I think, uh, would be start to seeing design as a mission. Um, and maybe you can save the world, but you can save the day of someone that is using your product. And I try to, to think about that uh, when I'm working every day. Um, and also try to explain more what a designer does <laughs> to, to everyone, so everyone can understand our job better. And try to tell people uh, where you can help as a designer. So be mindful, design for good. <laughs>